Today we're going to talk about how you set up iCloud on your devices. Before you can use iCloud, you need to create an iCloud account. You can go ahead and use your existing Apple ID if you already have one, or go ahead and create a new one if you don't. And then turn on the iCloud services that you want to use on each of your iOS devices and computers. If you already installed the iOS 5 on any of your devices, you were asked if you wanted to turn on iCloud. To make sure everything is set up correctly, or to set up your iCloud account on another device, follow the steps below. Also, it's extremely important to be sure to use the same iCloud information on each device that you set up. Now, go to www.icloud.com to get everything set up. After you set up each device, iCloud begins to push the information to all of your devices. You can also now sign into iCloud.com and start using the iCloud web applications. Now we'll talk about how to sign in or sign out of iCloud.com. To use iCloud web applications, you need to sign into iCloud.com on a computer. To prevent anyone from accessing your iCloud information at iCloud.com, such as your email for example, while you're away from your computer, you can go ahead and sign out of your account. Also another tip, you can sign into iCloud on more than one computer at the same time. Signing out of iCloud on one computer will actually sign you out of iCloud on all the computers. Go to iCloud.com and sign in using your Apple ID. From the iCloud web application, go ahead and click on the iCloud button and click sign out on the upper right corner. Now, how do you switch to a different iCloud application? After you sign in to iCloud.com, Again, you'll sign into iCloud.com, and then after that, you can easily switch between the iCloud web applications. Now, if you want to turn off or change your iCloud services, you can definitely do this. You can change which iCloud services you're using by turning them on or off. You can also turn off iCloud completely if you want to stop using it on one or more of your iOS devices or computers. Now, turning off specific services or iCloud may remove some information, for example, your email, photo stream, or calendars from your device, but it does not remove the information stored in iCloud. To see your information reappear, just set up iCloud on the device again. If you want to turn iCloud services on or off, you can definitely do this. Depending on which device's settings you want to change, do one or more of the following. On your iOS device's home screen, you'll go ahead and tap on settings and then tap on iCloud. This will give you the option to tap to turn on or off iCloud services. Now if you're on a Mac, you'll choose the Apple menu. After this, you will go ahead and click on System Preferences, then click iCloud and select or deselect the checkbox beside each service. Now if you're on a Windows computer, you'll go ahead and click on the Start menu. Next you'll click Control Panel and then Network and Internet. And then now you'll click on iCloud. And then again, you'll, you can select or deselect the checkbox beside each service. Now, if you want to completely turn off iCloud, you can do this. This is depending on whether you want to stop using iCloud on all or only some of your devices. Do one or more of the following. On your iOS device's home screen, I have some instructions. You'll go ahead and get to the home screen, tap settings, and then iCloud. At the bottom of the screen, you'll tap delete account.
But to let you know, if you delete your iCloud account, iCloud will no longer back up your iOS data. You can still back up your device in iTunes. And then for more information, open iTunes and choose iTunes and then proceed with help. On your Mac, you'll choose Apple Menu, System Preferences, and click iCloud, then sign out. The same will be for your Windows computer. You'll choose Start Menu, Control Panel, Network and Internet, and then click on iCloud, and then you'll click Sign Out.